Earthbed. Hello, curious minds. Welcome back to Earthpen. Today, we're venturing into the fascinating world of biology as we explore the building blocks of life, cells. Specifically, we'll take a closer look at the differences and similarities between animal and plant cells. Join me on this cellular journey as we delve into the science of these remarkable structures. Introduction to cells, let's begin with the basics. Cells are the fundamental units of life. They come in diverse forms, but two of the most well-known types are animal and plant cells. These cells share core features, yet they also have distinct characteristics that set them apart. Common features of animal and plant cells. First, let's explore the common features. Both animal and plant cells have a cell membrane that acts as a protective barrier, separating the cell's internal environment from the external world. They also contain a nucleus, which houses the genetic material, DNA. The nucleus, the nucleus serves as the control center of the cell, regulating various cellular activities. It's like the brain of the cell, determining what functions the cell performs. Cytoplasm and organelles. In both animal and plant cells, the cytoplasm fills the cell's interior and provides a medium for various cellular processes. Within the cytoplasm, you'll find a multitude of organelles, each with specific roles. Mitochondria and energy production. One critical organelle shared by both cell types is the mitochondrion. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell, responsible for generating energy through a process called cellular respiration. Differences between animal and plant cells. Now, let's explore the differences. Plant cells have a unique organelle called the chloroplast, which contains chlorophyll. This pigment enables plants to undergo photosynthesis, converting sunlight into energy. Cell wall in plant cells. Another significant difference is the cell wall. Plant cells have a rigid cell wall made of cellulose, providing structural support and protection, while animal cells lack this feature. Vacuoles. Plant cells also typically have large central vacuoles that store water, nutrients, and waste products. Animal cells may have smaller vacuoles, but they are not as prominent. Shape and mobility. Animal cells come in various shapes and sizes, and they can move independently. Plant cells, on the other hand, often have fixed shapes due to the rigid cell wall, and they don't exhibit mobility like animal cells. And there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of animal and plant cells. While these cells share many similarities and perform essential functions, their differences make them uniquely suited to their respective roles in the living world. Thanks for joining us today on Earth Pen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or experiences with cells in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of biology. This is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.